Hey gamers, Rick here for Game Trade Media, coming to you from Gen Con 2018. We've got some more cool things to talk about with Matt from Party People Games, and we he, he brought a, he brought a special friend. I did special guest here today, Jet, and we're going to talk to Jet here in a second as well because he's got some. You guys have been working on something real cool. Uh, something, yeah, pretty <clears throat> awesome. But before we get to that, before. I want to get to this. <laughs> Let's get to the games. Okay, <laughs> it's important we talk about the games before oh, yeah. we talk about the other very well, cool I, things. I, I wish I'd brought more of them to be <clears throat> honest. So we got ten games that were actually been showing off at Gen Con this year. Uh, of course, we have five family-friendly, ages 8+, plus. bring them to your classroom, play with your kids type games. And then we have a few more of the 18-plus editions, which <coughs> seem right. to be very popular. <laughs> of course. Um, we brought a, a small <laughs> sample of those just to kind of give you a taste of what we've been uh, showing off the most. Okay. Uh, we've got a, a little 20-foot booth set up, a couple of big demo tables, and mm -hmm. we've pretty much exclusively been playing uh, double play. Uh, we nearly started with that series. Actually, okay. like the, the second game that we came out with and we've been expanding on it ever since so the newest addition to that one is guerrilla warfare so okay. uh dodgeball is one of the family fra or favorite ages eight plus uh guerrilla warfare is going to be the next 18 plus edition now unlike um the other titles i'm not even sure am i allowed to say the other titles of course <laughs> okay so the <coughs> unlike a uh, double play group sex and double play genius or drunk which are obviously 18 and plus editions the double play guerrilla warfare is really aimed more at people that like uh, you know military backgrounds, love tabletop war games. Um, all the, the the questions are going to be along those lines. Nice. A little violent for ages eight plus, but sure. not anything too terrible. <coughs> um, as always, the double play games are all interchangeable. So again, I can take this new deck and I can play every single double play game that okay. exists. Uh, we have one app for that already, and I think I showed this briefly before, but okay. for the people who haven't seen it yet, should I show it? Yeah, show sure right here. Show sure right here. Yeah, so uh, the app is called Double Play. <laughs> it's free to download. Uh, when we turn on the adult content, you're going to see instructions for every game that we make, and we're nice enough, we're not even going to make you read those instructions. So the uh, Warfare game, if you tap on it, the written instructions are there. If you click Listen, we have an awesome voice actor that's going to read the instructions to you. If you click watch, it actually loads YouTube. It's going to show you the best how to play video. And in a couple minutes, you're going to know how to play this game. Nice. So we've been working for a long time to make games much easier to learn. I mean, our games are pretty simple to begin with. Right. But we give you all the tools to play them, including a little 30-second built-in timer and, you know, all nice. this cool stuff. So um, the special guest I have with me today is actually the app developer that's helped us put these apps together. And I Very say cool. apps plural because, <laughs> as you already know, the big announcement is not necessarily the apps that we've already done, but a brand new app that is not only going to help our games, but help the entire industry as a whole. Nice. Yeah. Well, let's, let's talk about that. Yeah. So uh, what's what's the app that is going to revolutionize the industry? Right. What's so, it called? Uh, basically, you know, we, we started talking about this idea a while back, and, and we figured that this is something the industry needs um, the worst part about most people getting into gaming or picking up a new game is having to sit down and read the instructions. Sure. Now, there are exemptions to the rule. We definitely have people that love flipping through 20 pages of instructions to try to figure it out. But most people just want to get to the how to play video. And even for the how to play videos, it can be tough. You know, uh, if I go on YouTube and look up Settlers of Catan, how many videos do I have to search through before I find the actual one that they want me to watch? What's sure. the best video that's out there? Right. So mm -hmm. we came up with an idea for a new app called the Player's Guide. And this actually helps the entire industry. Any game that exists, as long as it has a barcode, which in the United States we call the UPC code, Europeans mm -hmm. like the EAN, uh, this little guy. As long as this game has it, we can scan it and point you right to the how to play video for that game. Nice. Yeah, so I'll, I'll show you a quick demo. <laughs> we've actually pieced this together. Now, this is an app we've been working on for a while, and we're basically giving kind of a, a, a almost a sneak preview, if you sure. will, at Gen Con. Uh, it is live on Android, and by the time this airs, it should be live on the App Store as well. Nice. Uh, it's a really light app. In the beginning, it's just doing about 10% of all the bells and whistles we're going to throw in here. Okay. Um, so for all the idea, all the people out there that are like, this sounds great, but it should do this, it should do that, we know. <laughs> and we will <laughs> get to that. <laughs> uh, but as is, you basically you tap the app. It's going to ask you for a couple permissions, right? You want to make sure that, you know, you can use the camera and that you're okay with, you know, the app working and all. Then you get this nifty little scanner, which um, is basically going to be looking for that barcode. So I'm going to go off camera for a second a little bit. Once you put that little barcode in the window, 
get it in focus, it's actually going to catch it. And what it's going to do is pull up a how to play video button. So immediately, the next step is I would like to watch the how to play video and it loads immediately on your phone. Nice. Yeah, so this is not limited to any <coughs> other games. It works for everything with a barcode. Nice. Every game, games that haven't come out yet, right. can still be entered into this system. And we've got it set up to where, in the beginning, it's going to be a community builder, meaning right. any good Samaritan out there that's found a good play video for any game can get it entered in the system. Uh, we'll review it and get it uploaded almost immediately. So the nice. library of games is just going to blow up tremendously. Okay. And in the future, we're actually going to allow publishers to control the content. So not only can they point you to the exact how to play video that they want you to watch, but we'll put a whole bunch of other features in there to help you connect with that publisher in a number of useful ways. That's amazing. Yeah. Very cool. <coughs> just launched this here right. at Gen Con and everybody's already scanning things and it's just quick and easy and, mm -hmm. and that's what really makes it nice is hey you want to play this game the last thing you want to do is try to find the the instructions or right. the latest instructions or find a good video when there's so many mm -hmm. and it just you know it's taking off it's it's really exciting to be yeah. part of it so sure. as far as uh doing the app development because you you were the, the yeah the, yeah the engineer behind that yeah yeah engineer <laughs> um, we're both engineers yeah Dang yeah. it. Um, <laughs> nice try, Rick. <laughs> so what was, uh, what was one of the things that um, got you involved that made you think, yeah, I want to yeah. be a part of this project? You know? Yeah. Um, well, I, I met Matt because mm -hmm. we also make party games. Um, we're more focused on video games, kind of right. like this. So if you can zoom in on that really, really tight. We fill up movie theaters and play party games on the big screen, oh, like that's a movie amazing. screen. And we've got two announcers in the front letting everybody know what's going can on. I keep this one? Yeah, sure. I want to keep that one. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So uh, I've been making games for about 30 years. Okay. Um, I sold my first game when I was around 13. Uh, and I've been in the industry ever since. And now I'm really focused on these party games. And mm -hmm. Matt is also focused on party of games. Of course. And we also play a lot of games. And when I say a lot of games, I mean, I'm, I'm at Gen Con <laughs> not just to show off our games, sure. but to buy some new games to play. Of course. And, and so, you know, we started talking about, well, do we want to play this game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't really know how to play. Right. So we started talking about, well... <clears throat> let's build this app mm -hmm. that allows people to get to the game and right. play it the fastest way possible. Absolutely. And that's, I love it. that's really where, how it came about. And again, what's the name of the app? So the app is called Player's Guide. Player, okay. plural, space, guide. And it's going to look... Um, the app icon is actually being updated a little bit, but it looks like a little UPC code with a white play button in the center of it. And mm -hmm. again, the big motivation for creating this app was for people like Jet that have a library of games or a love for games, want to pick up new stuff, but really don't want to like sit there and mm -hmm. search the how to play videos. But more so, uh, in the past few years, I've visited over like 200 gaming stores right. all across the United States. And Which I, is how we met. Exactly. <laughs> Randomly ran into each other when I was uh, talking at, to at the Collector's owners. Corner in uh, Maryland. Yeah. Oh, cool. But these <laughs> guys, I grew up there. Oh, okay. Right. But uh, <laughs> a lot of these game stores, they have these awesome libraries and demo mm. shelves, and people pick them up, and they lose the instructions, or yeah. they get all excited. I've seen it so many times. Somebody buys a new game. They sit down. They're excited for the first hour and a half until they realize they still don't know how to play it. <laughs> and then their friends are just giving them, like, the dead look, and they're leaving, and sure. it's just, you know. You never want to have that experience with games. There's no reason it should ever be the case. Anybody that has a how-to-play video for any game, mm -hmm. people should be able to access it instantly, like right. as fast as you can pick up the game and turn on your camera. So that's the first thing we did in this okay. app. And like I said, it's really just step one in a whole bunch of stuff that we're sure. going to do. Um, going forward, you know, we want to be able to let publishers not only show you how to play their games, right. but have <clears> the <throat> latest, most up-to-date digital instructions that are word searchable. So right. if there's one thing that you're not 100% sure about in a game, mm -hmm. you don't have to read through 20 pages. You don't have to watch the entire how to play video. You punch in a keyword, you go right there. Right. Uh, we've got about 10 to 20 other features like that that really make it awesome for publishers to sure. control the content. And the way we're going to set up the pricing structure when we go to launch those features doesn't chase away small publishers. Sure. If you just kickstarted your first game, you only have one, and you don't know if you're ever going to make another one, it is very affordable mm -hmm. to control your content, 
plug people into your social media, tell right. them how to get a hold of your game. Okay. If you're a huge publisher, yes, you get discounts. <laughs> you course. can get your sure. entire library in there. Sure. But right now, it's absolutely free to download. It's absolutely free to use. It doesn't cost anybody right. anything. It's completely controlled by the community. Mm -hmm. And down the road, it'll be so much better, but it's already a pretty pretty amazing pretty amazing stuff so yeah. um so we talked about the app and we're gonna we're gonna come back to that real quick in here at the end but we talked about double play you oh, you brought one other game we I haven't even talked about this <laughs> i haven't even talked about party yeah. people my, my apologies okay so i'll tell you what uh party people i'll tell you what i'm gonna go ahead and rip this one open so you guys are gonna see what these look like fresh out the package um, for anyone who's ever played, you know, Family Feud, we always tell people, hey, double play is like a way more fun version of that, right? Sure. Um, party people is kind of like whose line is it anyways, but uh, it's a little different. Now, again, like all of our other games, this plugs into our base game. So anyone that's played Double Vision, which is our main board game, is the first one we released. Mm -hmm. This is an expansion for it, and it also plays as a standalone game, okay. right? So all the players basically grab a set of beaded necklaces. They throw it on. You slap on a random name tag, right? Curses. So if I'm the in-law, <laughs> Rick is the leprechaun. Which makes sense. And we're going to have Jet flip his around and be the first judge. So the back side of all these cards are basically the judge card. The judge gets to make up a scenario for why the two of us are talking to each other to begin with, right? All right. So think uh, whose line is it in any ways with uh, random prompts. And our goal is to out-talk each other so that the judge picks us as the best actor. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, for this game, like all of our other games, every party game we make is based on 30-second rounds. So we're going to use the built-in 30-second timer in our app. Okay. And if Jet will look at us, so Jet... Why would the leprechaun be talking to the in-law? You can make up any random <clears throat> scenario. You heard a <laughs> pot of gold was buried in, in the backyard. Okay. Okay. So, in-law, so I've got to warn other players about what happens when they join the family. All right. Leprechaun's got to explain why his pot of gold is impossible to steal, and we have to talk based on the scenario, which is we're in the backyard because I heard there's some gold there. So, okay. if, if you start the timer, Rick and I will... Act these roles. Okay. Three, two, one, begin. All right. Now, I, I heard you put some gold in the backyard, but you got to understand, when you join this family, you, you're expected to do some work. I'm about <laughs> to bring the lawnmower around. Uh, well, you know, I put the pot of gold in the back here so that they wouldn't be found because, you know, it's supposed to be me dowry for your daughter. Well, nobody can find anything with the t grass is tall. you got to trim <laughs> it down. Bring it well, down. That's not to me, job. That's your husband's inch. job. No, this it's is your, your job backyard. Now. You, you are part of the family. So you're saying you know, if, I, if I become part of the family and I marry your daughter, I, I'm not going to leave. I'm going to be stuck here with you guys in this house no, the whole just time. Just until the yard's mowed. You can go wherever you want afterwards. I'm not like that at all. That is not at all what I want to be doing. <laughs> and time. <laughs> All right. So then uh, Judge has to pick which one of us did a better job. Okay. Uh, he won. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> it's obvious why. His, yeah. his accent was great, and, and uh, I like what he was that, saying. That was but you did pretty awesome. good, too. Well, I think it was you. a good like example. I made the game or anything. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for that round, he totally wins. So he gets right. one point, and then we rotate judges, right? Uh -huh. So you'd become the next judge. Okay. We become the next two talkers, and you get to decide whether we keep our name tags, okay. trade them with each other, or whether one or both of us have to draw new name tags and be different characters for the next round. Okay. Yeah. That's so basically, very cool. yeah, you, you play until uh, first player that gets three points wins the game. Nice. And that's how you play Party People Holiday Edition. I love it. <laughs> now, very cool. The cool thing is, um, we do have an adult version of this game. So for all you people who are like, that's eh, kind of fun, but I want to turn it up a notch. Uh, I didn't bring it, but we do have the uh, Party People Sexy Edition as well. Um, this one is rated ages 18 plus, And just like the Double Play series, one deck plays every Double Play game. Uh, one pack of Party People name tags will play every Party People game. So if okay. you want to learn how to play the Sexy Edition with these name tags, you just load our app, you load that one, you can nice. read, listen, or watch the rules. And as we come out with more... Uh, titles in this series in fact we're starting to work on a, a dungeon crawler Ooh. series where all the name tags are based in lore okay uh when that one drops we'll have a new set of rules but again those name tags and those rules will not only be interchangeable within the party people okay. series you can plug them into double vision as an expansion nice. pack. Very cool. Yeah. Well, Matt, thank you so much. Jet, thank you yeah. so much for coming up and joining us today. If you guys want to check out Party People Games, where are they where do they go? Oh, so a number of places. Uh, your local comic book store, hobby shops, gaming stores should have these in stock. 
Um, if they don't, you can always go to our website. Uh, we've got links to other avenues to buy these games. But yeah, if you want to see the products that we carry, visit PartyPeopleGames.com. Uh, we'll have advertisements for all of our games as well as how to play videos, pictures, all that kind of stuff. And we have direct links for downloading not only the Double Play app for our games, but the new Player's Guide app that works for every game in existence. Perfect. And there you have it. And uh, So make sure that once you see this, you pull out your phone and you download the, uh, the, the Player's, Player's Guide, Guide. Yes. <laughs> Player's Guide app so that you can add that to your phone and to your library of resources to making your game experiences even better. Uh, awesome. I'm Rick. Thanks again, gentlemen. And we'll see you at the game store. All right. Awesome. Thanks for watching Game Trade Media. Make sure to leave us a like and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new content.